Okay, so I promised you a part two. This is the part two. I had to talk more about exposition and what it does for a story, but also to tell you how important it really is for any given story. It doesn't matter if it's fantasy or whatever. Exposition is what really drives the story. In novel writing, it's the main use for characters, setting the mood, and what time of day it is, or time it is as a whole. This means that it's primarily used to inform, build, or create the environment for the scene to advance the story or explain the reasons for actions. Exposition is therefore a driving force in telling a compelling story. If you don't have proper exposition, the story is not going to be very engaging. Exposition uh, does not change from novel to film. However, there are some different rules that filmmakers go by, such as show, don't tell. You've probably heard this if you're into filmmaking, screenwriting, or anything like that. Then you understand the premise of show, don't tell. But for all of us that don't really understand that, let's talk about it. In a film or a screenplay, if you over-explain how bad a villain is, for example, this can result in not just a loss of interest from the audience, but also it then feels like some, it's more of someone's impression and maybe not actually fact. So now if you think instead of having the villain slaughter an entire village of women and children, it's more effective. It's more to the point. This gets the exposition and shows you how it's done differently dependent on what the media is. If you have it more in a screenplay, then it's easier to show, not tell, right? Whereas in a novel, it's easier to have more of the story or someone explain that point than to try and describe the massacre, right? It's just the media changes how you actually handle this. In that example, it shows that exposition can be very different from for format from one to the other. Novels will, by rule, require more exposition, but there's a fine line as can be shown in the last part. If you haven't seen that last part, go back, look it up in the YouTube channels. I'd love to have you watch it and learn some more about exposition. Then if you're writing a screenplay, it's completely different. You want to create more opportunities to show than to have everyone just say things. You know, it just, if you just have everybody sitting there and saying, eh, that guy's a bad guy, it creates this barrier to the audience actually understanding. So you gotta find that fine balance when you're writing for exposition. That's all I've got to say about exposition for right now. I'm gonna do more research and I'm gonna dive into the subject and how to actually write exposition in a later one. Uh, next month, I'm thinking what I might do is I might look more into acting and what is it and how to do it. So check it out in next month's video or next month's short on acting. And for right now, just remember to be your own fable and I'll see you next time.